This morning, we are gearing up for the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. The lighting of the Olympic cauldron is the culmination of weeks of runners from all over the world transporting the Olympic flame to the Olympic City. Our Winter Games correspondent, Reed Cowan, caught up with one of hundreds of torch runners in Seoul, South Korea. Reed? All right, Lisa and Jeremo, Jeremy, don't you feel good when you hear that Olympic music? It just makes you happy in the morning. I hope you can play that over and over and over as we approach the Olympic Winter Games. I also wore my red, white, and blue just for the both of you and your viewers. You know, we're talking about the opening ceremonies. Friday, it's going to be an exciting time, and certainly the centerpiece of the opening ceremonies will be the lighting of that Olympic cauldron. Thousands of people have carried that flame across land and sea to light it up as a spirit of goodwill for the Olympic Games. Hey, a world united, how about that? Let's go to some video right now and talk about the journey of the torches that carry that flame. The torch has passed from Greece to South Korea on a 101 day journey. We caught up with some of the runners talking about that journey. You know, oftentimes those runners are chosen to represent communities who've had difficulties as a way of really galvanizing and representing the strength of the human spirit in the games. Let's talk about one of the guys, Les Ottolenghi. He's from Las Vegas. He ran that torch from Seoul on its way to Pyeongchang. You might remember his community of Las Vegas was devastated on 1 October when 58 people lost their lives, upwards of 600 people were injured there in the Las Vegas Strip. And Les tells me as he ran on the other side of the world in Seoul, he teared up because he heard people in their various languages and various accents shouting Vegas strong as he ran the torch. Listen to his experience. Everywhere I went, I met Koreans who not only knew Las Vegas, but knew the hashtag Vegas strong. They understood there had been a tragedy in Las Vegas, and they came over, shook my hand, and said, we're with you. We are with you. We are with you. Wouldn't it be nice if we could all say that a little more in our days? Hey, it's the start of the day where you are. Maybe say that to somebody that you pass along and reflect some of the goodwill of the people who run that Olympic torch. Friday, the lighting of the Olympic cauldron in an opening ceremonies that is sure to dazzle from South Korea. Lisa, Jeremy. Thanks, Thanks Reed. so much. And don't forget, you can watch it tomorrow night right here on NBC3. Stay with us. We'll be right back.